My Cause, My Cleats is coming up and you will be representing uh, the nonprofit Smooth that you founded with your mother. Uh, it's done some very special things, empowering women uh, against or who have been affected by domestic violence. Safe to say this is a personal issue for DeAndre Hopkins? Absolutely. Um, a lot of you guys know my mom was involved in the incident many years ago um, and, you know, just found ways to, to turn that, that negative into a positive. And this was one of them, starting a smooth foundation to help other women who um, could have been or was in a situation like that, you know, to try to prevent it. And so, uh, you know, it's something that definitely hits home for us. All right, so let me ask you about uh, going back to college to finish your degree. Have you been surprised at how many people are fascinated by DeAndre Hopkins going back to finish his degree at Clemson? I am surprisingly shocked. Um, you know, I didn't think it would be a big deal. Uh, I didn't know that going back trying to, you know, graduate or get a degree was a big deal. But, you know, I'm just doing something that I promised my mom and my father that I would do. It was just that simple, really. It, I mean, there are other things you want to do in your life, and finishing a degree, I'm sure, is something important to you, but it's still a big deal. It is. It is. And uh, that's a big deal because, you know, in my community, not a lot of people make it to college and, and you know, better yet, graduate. So uh, for me, I wanted to, you know, kind of be the person to set an example for, for the youth in my community. Uh, the graduating is important, not just playing sports. Okay, so it's in parks, recreation, and tourism management. management. Correct. Okay, how many hours do you lack? <laughs> Uh, man, I'm lacking a couple. I probably got two semesters left. Oh, it's not too bad. It's not, yeah, nothing crazy. What do you want to do with that degree? Uh, well, I, you know, I've always been to, into country music. I want to I wanna throw and have my own uh, festivals and concerts. So that's my plan after football, uh, well, one of them, to get into uh, the festivals of country music, uh, you know, alternative music, uh, that, no that world. Yeah, man. What what sort of got you interested in the concert festival promotion aspect of? I went to a concert in South Carolina, where I'm from. It was a small uh, festival, and it was actually like one of the biggest festivals where I'm from, not the you know, highest promoted. But, uh, you know, it was something for my small town for us to get a joy out of. And, uh, you know, it meant a lot to us locals having that little festival there. And uh, just seeing everybody come out, you know, all the people who make IPAs and just, you know, all the locals who do all the little knickknacks in their backyard, you know, come together. And I always thought that was cool as a kid, you know, how something like that can bring, bring a community together. Well, it's so impressive because it's clear you love the game and you take the game seriously and you put everything you have into the game. But there are other parts of your life, too. The game is not your entire life. Fair? That's very fair to say. Um, I'm, you know, I... I like art, I like ceramics, um, you know, I love music, you know, so, uh, you know, man, it's a, lot, it's a lot to me other than the game, but uh, football is definitely my passion.